can Brenda will be here in a minute. No, whatever. Hey everybody, how are you doing? You guys are behind the scenes here with Brenda and Linda. How are you? We have missed you guys. We were out last week. What happened? Why were we out though? We had a lot of work. We were being safe. We were we were being safe due to COVID, but um, we just we actually had a lot of work, and we have all kinds of great um, people that are coming in that we are going to be interviewing, like the person that we have here today. You want to introduce her? You want to introduce her, <coughs> girl? Yeah. She, she's just going to pop in in the front. And this is Alda. All the P dogs. Hello. Hey, Alda. Thank you for having me here. Appreciate yes. It. So Alda grew up in South San Antonio. She lives in Houston. She just got here from Houston. <laughs> Literally, she just drove Literally. in. Oh, yeah. Just drove wow. in. Yeah. And uh, we're excited to have her because she has just published, got her book published called Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna, which is the story of her great grandmother. Correct? Yes. And yeah. her perilous journey from Mexico during the Mexican Revolution, I guess, 100 years ago. Oh my goodness. So it's a fascinating story. And she's got more coming out. She's going to be here all the way through Saturday. Are you going Saturday. home and coming back? No, my okay. husband said go. <laughs> <laughs> we got her all she has through. permission. She has permission to be go. here. Go. Right out. Kids are fine. Yeah. Fine. Through Saturday. Because Saturday night. Her number is. No, just kidding. <laughs> just so, kidding. Just we're kidding. We're going to get the Scooby on Saturday. The Scooby Van's going to be there supporting her because she is, um, for the Scooby Van, she is our author advocate. And nice. she also helped with the book fair this past year. So we're going to be there with her at the Twig when they're premiering. Or what's it called? Book signing? Uh, yeah, it's book a signing. book launch. Book launch. <laughs> book launch party. So we're going to have mariachis. We're going to have... What? Brianna, yeah. I know mariachis, where we're going. Scooby Van. The no, San Antonio Museum of Art is going to be there. Yeah, so we're excited be, uh, about that. Pachanga there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that sounds like all kinds of fun. Any excuse to go to the Pearl. We're ready. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right, guys, so you will see her in just a, a couple of minutes. We're getting ready here. Actually, how did we get two minutes late? What happened? Excuse what me. Happened? Happened? Wow. I'm fine until I step out of the house, and then my San Antonio allergies kick in, and I sound like I've got the bubonic plague. So, All apologies. right, all right. <clears throat> Hold on. These things always like. Yeah, you could totally put that, like, way lower. Go ahead, girl. Sorry. You got a wire there? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, put that a little bit lower. Hey, what happened to my mouse? Uh, this first. is always behind the scenes, guys. Like, there's always a technical difficulty. It's always technical difficulties. <clears throat> That's okay. We got the good music, though. If all else fails. Oh. So they listen to the music right now? And then, oh. So what? I could do this. Like, just mainly when you get on during commercial break and you put the headsets on, let's make sure before we start talking you can hear oh, okay. what's sure happening. Oh, okay. We're assuming this is set up correctly. Okay. <clears throat> it's stuck right here. Oh, she's got her iPad. I need to bring my iPad. Oh, I have an iPad. <laughs> You need, you'll get traded it in for an iPad. Uh, I MacBook Pro. Come on here. Come on this MacBook Pro. <clears throat> all right, all right. We need our producer to come in. Help! All right, guys. So this is totally behind the scenes. This is when you know what things happen, good and bad, and we're just trying to get the mouse to work. As soon as we can get the mouse to work, then we can get the station to work, guys. And then we can have a really good show. But do us a favor if you guys are just coming on, share, share, share our live. You know, um, we've had our show here now for a couple of months. So we're just super stoked to just get it out on social media all over the place. So you guys can definitely help us uh, to do that by sharing now. Now, like I said, we do have um, a really good show here coming up hopefully in a couple of seconds. Tell them a little bit. Girl, talk to them. We're good. Talk to oh, your oh, audience. I, I'm just, I'm just jamming to the music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did we? Pretty good music, actually. <clears throat> so we're at 99. Oh, those of you who are live, we're at 99. Square. We are at 99.1 FM, which is a real radio station. Uh, but if you can't get that signal, then go to the App Store, get the Gen X app, right? <clears throat> um, and then if you also go to our bio and click on the link, there's a flow page link, and I think there's something that will take you right to that app. It's a little hard to find. <clears throat> but you can just take us on the go and listen to us anytime you want on the app. So that's a good thing. Where is it not working? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> 
add that to the list. Always bring a backup mouse. <laughs> there we go. Oh, she did it. Oh, wow. Okay. Can't be without her. All right, Sarah. All right, Sarah. Good. Yeah, we we'll probably need backup batteries for that mouse, too. All right, guys. So, thank you so much. Share, share. Sh now you can share because we good. Right? <laughs> now we can share. What? Don't get them confused. Wait, there's two mouse? Yeah. Oh, girl. No wonder. We have two of them. Okay, when might go to, okay. Anyway, we Sorry, guys. We're all excited. And we need backup batteries, too. We're like the wedding planner. We got everything. All right, so we have 31 seconds. Woohoo! This uh, song needs to to finish. Next oh. am I gonna sit there at one point with the headphones? Okay, you know, let me know when. Okay. You. You're gonna be a little cutie yeah. pie here in a minute when it goes on. <laughs> get it all the right. There we go. <clears throat> all right, we're ready. Hey everyone, how are you doing? How are you doing? So uh, glad to have you guys back on um, the radio, guys. Uh, glad to have you guys with us. Welcome to the San Antonio Live Stuff Show here on Gen X 99.1. Brenda and Linda here bringing you live stuff from San Antonio um, and the people who are making a positive difference in our city. Our guest today, our guest today is all the dogs. Woo! Come on, everybody. <laughs> author of Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna. I don't know if you can hear me because I can't hear me. Author yeah, of... Uh, definitely author. <clears throat> Sorry about that. There you go, girl. Petra, Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna. Sorry, we're trying to get the volume right here. <clears throat> and I'm Linda Pearson. I'm the founder of the Scooby Van of San Antonio and also got a new fun thing on the side called the Groovy Adventurer. Woo! So I'll be sharing that. Just, it's me with the Scooby Van not doing Scooby Van, if that makes sense. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to figure that one out. I have to have a life of my own. <clears throat> so that's my life of my own. Okay. Oh my goodness. And then we've got Brenda. So Brenda. Hey everybody. So how are you doing guys? Don't forget to follow me at Saving Our Way guys for all your, your hot tips on how to save, save, save. So guys, um, like Linda was saying, we're just super stoked. Um, well, like I was saying, I'm just super stoked to be here. <laughs> we're super stoked to be back. Uh, I am too. Well, because you know, just that one week that we were out, I feel like we were out like forever weeks on the end but anyway guys we do want to talk about our sponsors we have amazing amazing sponsors um, we want to thank um, Center of Advanced Wellness and the Med Spa guys um, definitely for all of your health and beauty needs you want to go to their website at Center of Advanced Wellness dot com guys um, definitely they have a ton to offer just real quick I want to tell you guys you know, about the different plans that they offer guys um, it's not actually an insurance plan but you can definitely come over here guys and you can still get seen for so, so many things including getting your vaccine or if you guys want to be tested but they do have their plan starting at uh, $30 for your uh, dependent plan that's for one person but you know what um, if you have a family, and this is a great plan, guys, because this is five, six people, it's only $150 a month for their package to be seen here at their clinic with only a $10 um, fee, a $10 walk-in fee. Uh, so that is... Um, Sorry guys. So that definitely is a great deal. You guys really don't want to miss out again. They have a ton and I mean a ton to offer. Uh, all you guys need to do is go to centeropadvancedwellness.com to check that out. And they're located uh, Broadway and 410 area by the airport, behind the airport at 8723 Botts Lane. And we also want to thank Gen X 99.1, obviously our station. Yes, oh, yes. So Thank you. <laughs> and then my Travel Vibes Apparel for our Ooh. logo merch, which I don't have on today. I have my <clears throat> Hawaiian shirt on for those of you who can't see. Yeah, I really like that which one. I'll tell you about why I have that on. And then uh, Pogo Pass, our latest sponsor. So you pay one price for one pass. It's good all year for venue admissions like Splash Town, the Zoo, the Witty Museum. And that's here in San Antonio, Austin, and Waco. And it's valued at over $1,000. And if you buy it through PogoPass.com, you get it for $39.98. If you use the, the code Scooby Van, and you can start saving money, have a great time with your family, create memories, and help the Scooby Van at the same time. So we're excited about that sponsorship. 
Well, and you know what, um, Pogo Pass guys, um, they are in seven different cities. So this is what I am loving, loving um, about the Pogo Pass because um, in every city, they have over a thousand dollars worth of venues um, for only that $39.98. And again, it helps to support um, the Scooby Van so that you can continue doing um, all the, the all the wonderful things that you do. But you know what? Um, these are great gifts. You have to think about Christmas. You know, before you know it, like Christmas is here, and what happens at Christmas? All the kids are off. That's what happens. <laughs> And they're going to be like, mommy, mommy, daddy, like bored. We are bored. We want to get out. And at that time, you guys definitely start um, spending all kinds of money. So getting that Pogo Pass, at least looking into that Pogo Pass, guys, is definitely the thing to do, especially if you're traveling. I know that they're in um, Las Vegas. I know that they're in Phoenix. I know that they're in Dallas, guys. Um, you can get the, the San Antonio Pass, which consists of Austin and Waco. So definitely, I am loving. Now, me and you were talking about the UTSA games. Where oh, we talking right. about the games. We're going to be sharing that. So for the sports fans, uh, Pogo Pass also has entry. You get you get into every free home game at UTSA. She and just said every, <laughs> like every. Every free home game. <laughs> every free home game. It's going to um, be free if you every, guys every buy home the game pass. For free. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, like for right now, we've got like volleyball, women's volleyball. We got men's baseball and basketball. I don't think it's football. Yeah, like I don't think it's here football. here in San Antonio and at UT Austin. So if you go to those events anyway, why not get a Pogo Pass and just walk right in, show them your scan code, get into the get into the events, go to all the home games. I mean, that's that's huge. Oh my God, I know that is just huge. We definitely jumped on board with the Pogo Pass because seriously, like when you think about that, I know a ton of you that I talked to um, that you guys were going to Splash Town this summer. Splash Town is forty dollars to get in. Think about it. $40 to get in, you go in, you have a great time one time. With the Pogo Pass, you pay the $40, you're gonna get into Splash Town because it does offer Splash Town, right? And then you get to go to $960 of other venues. Like you really do need to see it that way. And remember that the Pogo Pass is for both, right? Um, adults and for children. So definitely um, if you are a money saving family or not, you should be because <laughs> that's just a really great deal. Now, how do they, if they want to purchase, how, where do they go? So go to pogopass.com and then there's going to be a code, enter Scooby Van, all one word, to get your 20% off. And then that, we get the credit for that, so the Scooby Van gets a little bit of a <clears throat> kickback on there. It's our sponsor, so that helps us to keep gas in the tank. Right, I and love that. Scooby Stack, we're planning on giving away <clears throat> thousands upon thousands of books this year, so that is a lot of Scooby Stacks that have to be bought, plus all the behind the scenes expenses. So, real quick, so. Quick updates from Brenda and I, and then we'll bring on, we'll have a commercial break, and then we'll bring on Alda. We're excited about that. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, this past weekend, the Scooby Van was at the Rolling Oaks Mall, and we'll be there every weekend from 12 to 2, uh, collecting children's books, and we gave away two free Pogo Passes. <clears throat> We've been doing that every week. So check your emails, check your spam if you went to the Rolling Oaks Mall, because we haven't heard back from anybody yet. So I think my Scooby mail is going into the spam. Um, so we got free passes that we gave away, <clears throat> and then we also collected over 350 books as well. I so love that. That's a ton. the moms and dads who just came in with giant boxes and just said, here. <laughs> First of all, I'm sorry, because I actually was so excited you brought books that I forgot to give you your Scooby snacks. Oh, no. You guys need to be back <laughs> next weekend. I got home with the Scooby bucket and went, oh, yeah, I forgot that. Okay, sorry. Uh, we were also on Once in a Wild. <clears throat> oh, my God. That was so much show. fun. Was, yeah, we actually went a half an hour over. There was so much to talk about. But anyway, I got this shirt for the show, and I got my little Axolotl pen. And nice, nice. I couldn't find my logo merch today, so I had to wear this. <laughs> but anyway, um, so we were on the show uh, with Amanda, and she was showing us. She's a zoologist, and she was showing us some animals. And so we're excited about them because they're working with schools, education, animal education. They had, and she showed us behind the scenes after the show, all the animals. That was kind of really fun. Okay, but listen, mm -hmm. I don't want to interrupt, but when you say animals, these I were like, know. this was a snake, okay? <laughs> Snakes. And that Spires. is what was crazy, though, because <laughs> I was waiting. Okay, funny story. So I was waiting for Linda, like, to pick up the snake because she's telling her, like, hey, you want to hold this snake? Okay, I mean, seriously, I ran, so I'm not holding any snake, but I will take a picture of it. But, Linda, you were really close. I thought, I mean, I'm you pet, did, did you pet the snake? I touched him. I touched him. I'm oh, my God. Snakes, actually, okay, yeah. I, I, I ran, but... And then the, we had this huge 
giant Rab rabbit. But is it ca still called a rabbit when it's that huge? Yeah. It was a God, I thought a kangaroo was coming out, but it, it was a rabbit. That's how big it was. It was huge. Yeah. yeah. They were obviously the stars of the show, not me. Okay. <laughs> so, and then for those of you who did join us live, they didn't get to see the pictures, but we will be sharing if we haven't already shared <clears throat> the uh, YouTube show because you'll see all the pictures. It talked about the history of the Scooby Band from. When it started as a pink, spray painted pink Lexus with green tires. Oh my goodness! Yeah, long story. How exciting! <clears throat> anyway, so we were also on just last night. I was on was uh, on Instagram TV, and the, ha the handle is Scooby Doo underscore Daphne Two, the TV show. Oh my god! And he had asked for That's a, exciting. Yeah, it was fun. He had asked for a tour of the Scooby Van, so I took a little video of the outside of the <laughs> Scooby Van and the inside, and so he was wanting Did me to you? explain all of that. You know, so it kind of looks like a mommy van. It's pretty dirty. Anyway, oh my god. I showed him the uh, the damage on the front end. So what, I got through that, and we talked about some projects that were coming up. So that's pretty cool. He got the video uploaded last night, so we will share that. So thanks for that. <clears throat> and then real quick, coming up Saturday, we'll be at the Rolling Oaks Mall from twelve to two again, collecting books. Um, and then this Saturday, we're excited. We'll hear more about this. Oh no, actually, before I do the all the thing, <clears throat> we'll be at Retro City from three to five. The Turtle Van will be there. The Back to the Future car will be there, and we will be there. Retro City is on Nac. Uh, let me see the address: fifteen oh three three Nacogdoches Road. <clears throat> That's kind of the northeast side of town. And Retro City is where you go to get all your '80s and '90s and horror and Star Wars collectibles. And he has an arcade, like the vintage game, so it's really fun to go there. And we will be there that, this coming Saturday at 3 to 5 after we go to the mall. And then we're going to go to <clears throat> the Pearl right after that. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Pearl. It's busy, gonna be a busy, busy day. Yeah, excuse me. My allergies are kicking in. Uh, so then we're going to go straight to the Twig, to the historic Pearl District. And we're going to be there in support of Alda because she's having her book yes, launch on Saturday. God, that's just going to be so much fun. And we'll talk more about that. But the San Antonio Art Museum is going to be there. It's going to be mariachis. There's going to be food. So it's going to be a really fun time. So that's what's going on Thank in you. the Scooby world. All right, well, God, God, how do I follow that up? Jesus. <laughs> yeah, good news. Share the good news. Well, I do have really good news. It's something that um, Linda and I have been uh, talking about, guy, uh, guys. Um, and just really the role that I wanted to play into this, because you know me, like when I go, I go big, right? So excited <laughs> that I have um, accepted the role on the board, guys, uh, for the new vice president in business development. Of oh, the Scooby Van. Yes, of the Scooby Van of San Antonio. So super excited about that. I've been following Linda for some time and I've been just looking at all of the wonderful things that she has done. Now, me, myself, of course, for the last seven years, I've been going out to my community and you know we've just you know always helped um, just as much as we could. Anything that me and my group could do, that's 200,000 followers, it's like, okay, where can we go? Who needs the help? Who needs the donation? Let's go do this big. Right. So um, this this year, well, huh? So we're in the middle of the year, but you know, <laughs> going into <laughs> the thing is, COVID came in and said, "Stop you in your tracks," and I'm like, "No, you're not COVID." But <laughs> but anyway, um, definitely going forward into 2022, and I even think um, 2023. You know what I mean? Um, I believe in what you're doing, you know, um, and just the wonderful things that you were doing for every side of town. And that's what I'm loving. You're not just specific to uh, this side or that side. I love that right. you are doing this for all of San Antonio. And I definitely want to come on board. So I accept the bro. I want a, a big old hug and kiss. Mwah, and uh, we're together. <laughs> we're we're kind of stuck at the hip. So and it's it's a good thing. Brenda is a powerhouse. Let me tell you. Woo! I don't oh, know how yay. she does it. I can't even keep up. Oh my dang! So she, oh, my she like fun. stays up till three doing her thing, and then I get up before doing my thing. So we pretty much have the whole twenty four hours of the day covered. <laughs> yes, yes, we do, we do. But I do want to talk about my other group, guys, which is saving our way. Super excited uh, because we have uh, classes coming up. We had our meeting with Express News, so they're ready to like, hey, let's let's go, you know, let's go big here. Um, Unfortunately, with these um, classes, they're usually in person, but due to COVID again, we decided to have all of our classes online. So guys, this is nine classes uh, that's gonna come to play here um, in October. Definitely get to my website at savingourway.com so that you guys can get in. Um, I think you guys will be able to start RSVPing for these classes um, this weekend. So I believe it is the 16th, the 
17th and the 19th. So again, you can take these classes at the comfort of your home. As long as you RSVP, actually you can take this class whenever you guys will have, um, I think it's up to a month. So as long as you're in there, then we don't boot you out. We want you guys to come in and learn all, you know, um, every all the tips and tricks that we are putting up for you guys for these classes. So we're super excited about that. Um, like I said, these are our October classes. And then I believe in November, guys, you have asked us for a online all app class that is going to help you guys how to save make money on these um apps uh with just scanning your receipts guys so definitely definitely it is a thing i think on one of the apps it's uh your ibotta app i think i'm now at uh making four thousand dollars there okay. and you know i make the money there i take that money and then what do i do i go grocery shopping right that's what you do or whatever it is that you need so definitely guys it's like a real thing nothing fake about it you definitely you know want to also watch for that class again subscribe to savingourway.com where you guys can just check out what we're doing cool 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 yeah you definitely want to go to that app class brenda has been bugging me about that and i signed up for fetch app and i'm actually loading receipts and then it says oh you have enough to get an amazon gift card okay you believe me now yeah for god's sake it's been years <laughs> <laughs> if she's doing it guys i'm telling you i'm telling you this is definitely something so I'm like, okay well i need my keyboard cover for my new macbook pro and that's six dollars seven dollars and i've already got those coupons sitting there so that's like free just for scanning my receipts I'm oh like, my wow, goodness this is like legit okay so we will Girl. be right back yahoo with a with our guests all the dubs the author of Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna, right here on the San Antonio Life Stuff Show at Gen X 99.1, right after the commercial. So stay tuned. Okay, thank you for turning that down. I don't wish forget that she blows on it. I think it's still here though. If it's down like this, right? Yeah. It, it's not. It's it's not as much as this is our volume, not the radio station actually it's, it's kind of both they just hear it lower so what they're going to do is go to the radio they're going to have to put it higher okay. and that's why it's only a few minutes in between and we try to do this <coughs> all right guys so thank you thank you so much for uh being with us we're excited you know to have you guys here again if you'll do us a favor and um just share 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 Alda, if you'll come and have a seat right. zara if you can help her to you know just get her started there mm -hmm. then that would be great just get until we start talking. Oh. <laughs> you can't see my earrings now, though. <laughs> hey, I can see music? them. I can see them. The music? The music? I can't hear you. I just hear the music. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, you don't have to have one right now. <clears throat> okay, so um, did you make sure, can she yeah. see all three of us? Can um, this water is fine? That, can that is yours. Yes, ma'am. Don't spill it on anybody's laptop. Mm. We had a little water mishap and a messed up iPad. So yeah, fifteen hundred dollars more, you know. <clears throat> Later, ninety-nine cent bottle of water destroyed a fifteen hundred dollar computer. <clears throat> All right, so when we come back, where are we at? Oh, right, uh, me right here. <clears throat> All right, so I guess today is all the dubs. All, all the dogs, Arthur, and mm -hmm. just, dreams. Instead of describe what you do, tell us a little bit about yourself. Kind of Can thing. you balance that to hear them on this side? I'll only hear them on this side. <clears throat> well, once we, you'll be, I'm just going to turn it kind oh, of really low. Once we're on, you'll be able mm -hmm. to hear it by, okay. but yeah, she's definitely let both. us she's know. the right side doesn't work. Well, I don't know. Here, let me, see. <clears throat> let me check it out. It's okay. It be a setting. <clears throat> like we really know what we're Maybe it's just my ear. <laughs> I just flew from Colorado and my ears get popping one way and another. No, she's right. Try the, she's going to try that one. Yeah, <clears throat> the wire goes on the left. But she should always have one outside her ear, though. You know what I mean? Go ahead, try that. That's about the same, too. So it's, yeah, it's the same. Is it? Okay. Yeah. All right, so when you put these on so that you can also hear since we're live, mm -hmm. then, it, then on the left one, you kind of put it outside your ear so that you can still hear us talking you. you know what i mean oh, she can, uh, but you right. hear yourself it's gonna be the oh the right wait yeah, yeah. in this case the right, the, the right one doesn't work just pull it off of your ears or it's lower it's just saying. lower just make sure you can hear yourself that's good okay so let's go at it let's do this yeah <clears throat> Who's going to mess with this, I'll tell you. Yeah. 
Now, I always say that on radio, when it's only like one minute, it's like the longest one minute of your life. You're like, oh my God, it was like 30 minutes. Oh my goodness. But it really is only one minute. It's crazy. Hey, you got cool tunes. We'll get this song where we need it and then... <clears throat> All right, guys, again, sorry. You are behind the scenes, and this is what you get, man. <laughs> right? It's like, oh, my goodness. No, on radio, they don't get to see all of this craziness back and forth. But um, definitely when we're live, you certainly do. Okay, so we have about eight uh, seconds, seven seconds. All the junk, girl. <laughs> she got the show and tell. I gotta bring my, my show and tell. <laughs> yeah, I think about that. All right, here we go. Okay, our guest today is Alda Dobbs. We are back with Alda now, officially, and she is the author of Barefoot Dreams of Petroluna. So we're excited welcome, about Welcome, welcome, Alda. Thank you. No, thank you so much. It's an honor to be here. So Alda, tell us a little bit about what you're doing, what you do. Tell us about the book a little bit first. It's a book that's inspired by my great-grandmother's story. She led the Mexican Revolution back in 1913. Close. <laughs> she fled the Mexican Revolution back in 1913. She uh, fled to the border with her family because her village was being attacked by the Federales. And when she reached the, the border at uh, Piedras Negras in Texas, who's, it's a border town to Eagle Pass, uh, they couldn't cross. So all the families were stuck there because the bridge was, the international bridge was closed. The U.S. military had it shut down, but they were afraid because they knew the Federalists were coming over and they knew they would get slaughtered if, because uh, they had left, you know, they hadn't joined them. So they're waiting there, hoping that the bridge gets open and uh, a couple of days later, the Federalists show up. So one of my great grandmother, she said panic ensued and everybody just ran to the bridge. Thousands of people, well, she said it was hundreds. And uh, she said they were there begging for their lives, pleading to the American soldiers. And uh, finally, she doesn't know what happened, but one American soldier just opened the gates and everybody ran through. Wow. And yeah, she said it was about hundreds of people. And uh, once I finally decided to write the story and do the research, I found that one article, it took months and months of research, but I found that one headline from that was published back then in the 1910s, and uh, yeah, it's exactly like my- So how old was she when this happened? She was nine, but the character of my book, Petra Luna, which is inspired by her story, is um, 12 years old. Okay, and the book takes place back in the day. Yes, okay. back in 1913. <clears throat> so what, when you did the research and you're going through this whole thing, I can imagine getting immersed in this. So how does that resonate with you as far as like what's going on today? Oh my goodness, it, it's amazing. You come from Mexico. Yes, so yes. You can, I, you can connect with that. So. I, yes, I also immigrated over here, but yeah, you could see that same story. For instance, back then you also had children that were leading siblings to the border to safety. Wow. And you see that now happening in the border. You see uh, mm -hmm. young kids coming unaccompanied, right. trying to, to help their, themselves or siblings or families. And you see that all over the world too. So the problem's not unique to just one group of people, one group period of time. You know, it's a universal that just transcends time. Right. So, um, so why was it important for you to write this story? Number one, and then why? For, this is a, a children's book, right? Yes. What what age group would read this book? Oh my goodness, it's categorized as a nine to twelve. Uh, age nine to twelve. Middle uh, school. That's uh, fourth grade, fourth fifth grade, and into okay. the middle school. But I've that's had some, perfect uh, time for them to learn. <laughs> yes, but I've had some teachers say that because uh, of the topic that's war and all that, that yeah. it does attract older kids as well. Right, right. Uh, and then I've had adults tell me, "Oh my goodness, you know, I love this. I love for children, but I learned so much from the history and and whatnot." So I I wrote it with that intention to shed light and something that. I myself did not learn through history books or in the school system. It's something that I learned through family stories. And uh, not until I delved into the research of uh, looking into newspapers mm -hmm. and, and just 
nitpicking like a detective and finally seeing that story. That's how I learned it. So how long did it take you to write the book from when you decided, I'm going to write this book? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven years ago that I the, the concept came to my head. And then um, two years to find out that the story was true. And it was going to be a newspaper article or a magazine article for a children's magazine. And when I found out all the details, I said, no, I have to turn this into a book. So at first it was a picture book which I was still learning how to write. And uh, one agent at a writing conference uh, said, no, you have to turn this into a novel. You know, it's, there's so much you could add before deal. and after. <laughs> so I said, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll have it next year. And <laughs> she said, oh no, it's probably gonna take a little longer. And sure wow. enough, it was another five years before I, I you know, with the research and, and everything. So it, it took a while. Wow. You know, before we go any further, tell us what are the three things you would like our radio audience uh, audience and behind the scene audience to know personally about you. Oh my I know goodness. you're from the South Side. Tell yes. us a little bit about you. I grew up in the South Side. I grew up in the 90 Pro Band area. We moved oh, around okay. there a lot. 10 minutes from my house. Yeah, <laughs> you're right there, girl. <laughs> yeah, I went to Knox Elementary School. That was my first school. Then uh -huh. went to Harris Middle School and graduated from Brackenridge High School. So did I. So I'm an eagle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did not know that. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to go out for a margarita. This oh, is happening. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm really proud. Yeah, I just have so much pride in the South Side, and right. I love. Right, it's come a long way. Yes, it, it, it's beautiful. You know, the, the people in there. They're just, I love it. It's also in the neighborhood, the barrio, it's yeah. incredible. So I'm always proud to say, you know, not only do I say I'm from San Antonio, but I always mention that I'm from the South You're Side. You're like, I'm from the South Side <laughs> of South San Antonio. Antonio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm right behind you. So, so over here, yeah. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> How old were you when you moved here? I was a baby. I was, wow. uh, I was a baby. Oh. Uh, my mom uh, came, I was supposed to be born here, supposedly, that's the story. <laughs> but my mom wanted to go spend Christmas at, uh, in uh, Mexico. So she left thinking I was going to be born later on after Christmas. And uh -huh. nope, I came early. So oh. I, I wanted to be born in Mexico. So I was born over there. And then it was, you know, it took some logistics to try to get me over here. And, yeah. Uh, so we finally came here when I was a, a small kid, but um, I grew up speaking nothing but Spanish because everything around me was Spanish. Wow. Uh, my neighbor spoke Spanish and everyone in school spoke Spanish. So it took a while for me to learn English. How old were you when you started speaking English? Fluently, I'd probably say about 10. Wow. <laughs> 9 or 10, it took a while. Which is not uncommon. Yes, it, it it's took a uncommon. while. Even right now, I'm still struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, I get it. That what might be not the <laughs> I struggle too. <laughs> That is so funny. So, so the, the story takes place over a hundred years ago. Yes. 1913, right? That's the, the wow. previous year, probably the Mexican Revolution, which wow. started in 1910, but it got really bad in 1913. So, but between then and now, I mean, other than the federales trying to kill people, trying to come over, I mean, the story is pretty much a lot similar, wouldn't you say? Is that what you think? That's, that's the thing, that uh, there's a, a set date when the Mexican Revolution started. It was November 20th, 1910. That's mm -hmm. when the, the, the official start is. But there's so much controversy as to when did it end. You know, people say it ended in 1920. Some people say, no, the Cristero movement happened and it ended in 1924. Some people say, no, it's in the 40s when it ended with wow. God and getting like the president. And some people say it's never ended. It's still happening <laughs> then. So, you know, it's, it's up to, you know, each individual to decide that. So your book depicts various roles that women played during the, the during this Mexican Revolution. So what did you discover in your research about the experience of these young women? It couldn't have been. Oh my goodness. Good. It, it was incredible, just the, the bravery of the, these women and uh, and just the various roles. I didn't realize, I always saw the, the soldaderas, you know, holding the weapons and whatnot. But there was different roles too. So there was the, the soldaderas, the camp followers, who would follow their husbands, or sons, or brothers, or family into the the, the war? I never thought about that, but you're right. In support of them, in cooking, support of them, so cooking, healing. cleaning, healing, and even to the point that they would take food to them in the trenches and would get the gun, the rifle, and start fighting while their husbands or brothers or sons were eating. God, you better, I never thought about so, that. So, super and interesting. And they would uh, cook, they would clean, they would give birth. You and know, that's true, someone yeah. had to do all that. So, <laughs> so they were the someone backbone helped. of the revolution. You know, these, these okay. women provided so much. And then you also had soldadas, the soldiers, the women soldiers, who were not camp followers, were not there to cook, but they were there to fight. 
Wow. So they joined the ranks of the rebels. This was on the rebel side. And some of the women attained ranks of captain, general. I mean, it was amazing. And this is unheard of, you know, it's at the turn of the 20th century. You know, just, right. So it was early. And this is the first uh, war that had women uh, officers actually leading troops into battle. So it's, it's an I amazing. Would've, I would have fought in the trenches so I had to cook. <laughs> and you said that it took place in the 1910? Yeah, 1910. That 1910 then the story of the book takes place in 1913. 1913. Yes. Okay. And that's when it actually really did happen? Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's the book based on the true story, or is it more fiction, or is it more fact? It's inspired by uh, of the, the journey my great grandmother took, and a lot of it is uh, memoirs and interviews that I've read that I weaved into the story, and uh, or that just came out of my imagination. And some of them, because both my grandmother and great grandmother lived truly impoverished lives, so I took a lot of their stories and anecdotes and experiences and incorporated them to the to the tale. Well, I can't wait to read it. I know it's only for nine to twelve, but I'm gonna read it. <laughs> and then you oh, have, yeah, you also have a, I saw on your uh, Facebook or Instagram you're doing a uh, book on audio book too. Yes, yes. Uh, hopefully that'll be released soon. You know, I just I did the author's note, so at the end I tell about my experience and my journey as a writer and my the impact that my ancestor mm -hmm. stories had on me. And then your kids are there in the recording studio yes. and that works out well for you? <laughs> they, were not, they were not inside that little room. They were oh, okay. watching, but yeah, at the end, <laughs> otherwise, yeah. Well, that's cool. And where you do, you're doing that in Houston. You live in Houston, right? Now. Yes, I live in Houston, outside of Houston, okay. but my, like I tell people, my heart's always in San Antonio. You get here as often <laughs> as you can. Right? So what else, tell us about what else you have coming up. I have a, a book too that I'm working on right now, uh, which is a follow-up to Petra Luna. And my great-grandmother, uh, in real life, she returned back to Mexico because she was in a refugee camp. A lot of those Mexicans that crossed during that time stayed in the refugee camp. And at the end, uh, they gave them the option to either stay, take mm -hmm. a job either in the fields or meat packing plants, or they could go back. And my great grandmother's family was one that decided to go back to Mexico. They figured, you know, it's our country, we gotta rebuild it. And, you know, it's up to us. And so they returned, but a lot of families stayed here. I mean, you think about the Mexican Revolution, it was over a million people that crossed over and stayed, didn't go wow. back. Wow, about that's a million, a million and a people. So, yeah, during a lot that of this, decade, like, people really just well, don't think about educational. it. So, the fact that you have. Yeah. You know, that to offer is fantastic. Yes, and San Antonio itself, within that span, had 30,000 refugees. Wow. So you think about it. So at that point, when I read all those stories, I said, you know what? What if Petra ends right. up in San Antonio in 1913? How would she survive? What would she do? Where would she live? And that's when I book two came up, and that's what uh, well, Morgan. So we have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Next year. laughs> yeah, so it's wait. Too, that's uh, a little teaser, but that's great. It's coming. It's coming up. Yeah, we'll cover the, the refugee camps in Eagle Pass, and I will go into the Chile Queens in San Antonio. We'll cover uh, just the the culture clash, you know, with Germans, Czechs, Irish, and Mexicans, oh and everything in San Antonio the way it was back in 1913. Oh, wow. And it's, it's really neat. Because you know, a lot of the buildings that I mentioned in the book are still standing. So. Isn't that something? Because you're right about that. Yeah. They're so. still standing here today. So it's that was yeah. so long ago. Very cool. But everything has a history, and that's great that you're bringing that to light, right? Yeah, it's, I guess, what's, yeah, you know, it's what's behind that building? Mm -hmm. You are, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Putting that out is wonderful. Uh, why do you think it's important to write stories for children? that include dark topics such as war and death? I think it uh, generates uh, empathy in the kids when uh, they yeah. see that uh, these problems are not, like I said, not unique to any time period. And uh, they could compare also, you know, what's happening now to back then. And, and also that, like Petra Luna, that took that leadership role, they, they could see it in themselves as well, that, you know, right, hey, my right ancestors did it. You know, I have that in me. I have that strength, and I could also lead, especially right now with all the adversities we're facing with COVID yeah, and true, true. things like that. Yeah, they, they empower themselves. So for the parents listening who, who think they might want to come, and you're going to tell us a little bit about the twig this weekend, but thinking about getting this book for their kids, because obviously it's very educational, to get, Give us an idea of what kind of, how much death and destruction and mayhem are we talking about? Because some parents might be concerned, okay, that's a little too gory, so. Yeah, uh, there's, it rated? Uh, <laughs> if you look at Goodreads, there's a lot of reviews there, and you can read about it, you know, and there, oh, these good. are bloggers, these are teachers, these yeah. are librarians, and you could get the honest feedback there on Goodreads of how they view it. 
and uh, I can't express it as well as they do because they're, they're proficient in, in reviewing books. So you could get gauge from it there. You know, the thing uh, is, it is a part of history. You know what I mean? So it, it, it really war. is a lot of learning. So it's it a dark book. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's war. It's not gentle, you know. But yeah, there's one scene that I wrote that uh, at the time of me writing it, I was reading a book by Stephen King. Ooh. And uh, <laughs> so when my husband, my husband's the first one to read my work, he read it and he said, whoa, you know, just back up to Stephen King a little bit and uh, let's reward this scene. Right? And I learned a lot. I went back to books, uh, children's books that cover war and started reading them. How did they cover war? How did they depict death and whatnot? And yes, they use a lot less words because he's there's so much you could say with a few words, you know. Okay. You just got to choose the right words. Okay. So but, you actually had to research other children's books yes. uh, for this age group. How are we describing people dying? Exactly. Being so, okay. yeah. So that was a, a big research to try to how to convey a message to a child in, wow. in a way that's gentle. Okay. So good reads is where you go for the parents who want to know how gory this thing gets. You get a, get a good feel for that. <clears throat> so tell us about this Saturday from 6 to 8.30? 6.30, yes. 6.30 6 to 8.30. You can get there at 6. I'll be there at 6. I'll, I'll be, be there at 6, too. <laughs> i got to get a good parking space right in by the toy. Yeah. But the Scooby Van. Yeah, that's, my dance <laughs> starts at 6.30, and they're going to be playing all the songs from the Mexican Revolution. Cool. You know, from like uh, Las Bicicletas, Jesus mm -hmm. and Chihuahua, mm -hmm. and all those good songs. So you can dance there. I'll probably be dancing. So. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like there. it's just going to be a whole lot of fun, and, you know, it's, it's for everybody. Everybody, everybody's invited. Mm -hmm. So oh, for those yeah. who don't know, uh, the Twig, for those coming from Houston, the Twig <laughs> is at the Pearl, Historic <laughs> Pearl District. So you want to get Which there is early. a super popular place for San Antonio. And it's so. Saturday night, so you're going to want to get there kind of early, maybe have dinner because you're going to have to find a parking place. And then we're going to be at the Twig at 6, setting up, right? Yes. Scooby will be there kind of parked close to the Twig. I think we're going to be collecting books. Yes. And giving out Scooby Snacks if we want to Oh, man. A, a yeah. whole lot of fun. <clears throat> Museum of Art. San Antonio Museum of Art will be there. And I'm also having a, a contest for kids. Uh, well, it's going to be, a, if you come and show up with your best Petra Luna, this is the, uh, the drawing, the, the, draw, the cover. If you could uh, have a kid draw something like that and bring it in, I'll give you a, there's a free gift. You know, if we're drawing something like that, can I enter? <laughs> cheater, <laughs> cheater. She said kids. And uh, so you'll get a free gift if you come and, and bring your best art and then enter to, for a raffle to win a prize. There'll be three prizes, so. Dang. Man, right. that sounds like all kinds okay, of so fun. Okay, so the book is officially out there. Today. Congratulations! Great day to have you on. It's officially for sale. So how, do we, yes. how do we go buy the book if we don't want to wait till Saturday? You, there's a website. My website, www. I don't know, can you say all those three W's anymore? www.aldapdops.com. And uh, that's I have a, a link that says how to purchase the book. And right now, if you purchase it. There, I have a list of uh, 12 bookstores that if you purchase it, you'll get a journal that comes along with the book. Oh, and nice. And the journal has selected quotes from the book. And uh, it's really neat. I liked it. So we go to all the P dogs. There's a P in there. All the P dogs. Mm -hmm. And then we click on the link and we, pr we can purchase the book right there on the internet. There's one a link that says pre ordered. You can still click on it right okay. now, <laughs> even though it's it's out today. I'll change it tonight. But yeah, if you click on that one, it'll take you to those 12 bookstores. Oh, and then we'll go to the Twig and then we pre order it through the yes, Twig. Yes, you can do Saturday. it through the Twig as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what other stores are doing this with you? Uh, I have the Twig, I have the Blue Willow in Houston, and there are other stores. There's one in uh, Louisiana, and uh, Denham Springs, there's some in Jersey, two of them in Colorado, oh my goodness. one in California. So That's wonderful. They're, they're, <laughs> they're great bookstores. They're called independent bookstores, and these are awesome. They are very supportive of, of authors and communities, and uh, I really they've been wonderful to me. And they have the journals there. So on Saturday, we pre-order now. We go pick it up on Saturday, and they'll give us the journal. They'll have the journal there of the Twig. Oh, yes. my God. That sounds amazing. <laughs> and tell us about, sorry, I'm just, I got all these questions. NPR. You were just on NPR. Yes. I love little, that. A little while ago. You stopped to listen. So tell us about that. Oh, my goodness. That was incredible. They uh, they did an interview, and then they, they put me in a segment, uh, Texas Standard. 
Nice. So it was today, uh -huh. and they have a, it's a two three minute. It's not too long, but it, they have music, you know, Spanish guitar music in the background, oh, and I get wonderful. to talk about my book. So mm -hmm. I was just mesmerized with this. This is fantastic. This is a heck of a week for you. You're launching your book. You got on NPR, and you're going to be at the Twig, and you got all kinds of cool stuff. Coming. Oh my goodness! So mm -hmm. we have to go ahead and go to commercial. But before we go to commercial, um, how can people find you? How can your audience find you besides your website? What type of social media do you have? Sure. I have uh, Facebook and okay. it's, I'm under all the P Dobbs. Okay, and all the P on, Dobbs. And on Instagram, it's at all the P Dobbs as well. And uh, there I put posts on the history of the Mexican Revolution. Uh huh. So you could follow kind of uh, like the book. I have uh, pictures and that inspired me most during the research. So. Which is wonderful. I've been following you. Oh, I've been you. learning a lot. Thank you. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yes, great. yes. All right, guys, so it's Brenda and Linda here at 99.1 Gen X. Guys, we're going to go ahead and go to commercial. We're going to come back um, and hear more um, on just the journey here with Alda P. Dobbs doing wonderful, wonderful things. All right, guys, see you real, real soon. Go. I'm learning to turn the volume down because when she turns that show on, the music is just like... <laughs> <clears throat> we could You've talk. been busy, girl. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All over the U.S. No. Well, did you set those up, or did your publisher, your agent? Or something? Yeah, the they they <clears throat> the they team here like me. Yeah, and they, they reach out and all that. So mm. I mean, it's it's a it's good. It's a lot of work. You know, they've been busy. No, that's not the list. No, right? No, I don't know. What is that? Are you, you going to submit this to like the Blue Bonnet Awards? Yeah. Do us a favor, guys. Yeah, share, yeah, share, so, share. Yeah. We only have about 10 minutes left on the show. Yeah, I, they, they submit to I don't know. When we do our show, before you know it, guys, yeah, it's just over. Yeah. So we're going to come back. We're going to talk a little bit more with yeah, all the guys. And then um, that's it. We are definitely going to see you guys next week. I just came back from Colorado. We have about a minute and a half before we go back live, guys. So um, thanks again. Thanks again for joining us today. I got a writing deadline that I got to submit tomorrow by noon. She's not joining us for lunch. I'm sorry. I'm oh, writing deadline. Yeah. That's okay. So I'm bring coffee for you. But, um, You'll be here all week, so yeah, let, yeah. maybe we can <laughs> do a breakfast or a yeah, something. Like, no, yeah, yeah. It's after to, tomorrow at noon, it's due, so I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. So you've got a noon, <laughs> writing deadline. Writing deadline for what, like PR? This one's, this one's an essay that i got to submit. I just had the writing deadline for book two yesterday, and I submitted that one. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so what about other appearances between now and Saturday? Uh, tomorrow I have a um, an Instagram live um, with a bookstore. Cool. And uh, <coughs> then here locally or bookstore somewhere else? It's in, Can in Kansas. So Kansas? It was, wow. Yeah, so it's in Kansas. And I do the school visit on for Austin. There's going to be a June school visit on Wednesday. No, okay. yeah, no, Tuesday, Tomorrow's Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday. <laughs> All right, so we have about 12 minutes, okay, <clears throat> left. So then we're just going to, so then you're, we're going to come well, back, you're well, doing well, this. Yeah, we'll say thanks for Alda, and if she has any last minute things she wants to say, then we'll let her. Okay, so you're going to say yeah, welcome, say and then I'll do this, and then any last minute, so think about any last minute thing that you, you, might you want, yeah, <laughs> that you want to go ahead and share. And of course, again, you know, your social media and how to contact you, and just yeah. reminding them again I'll that be, you'll be there. Be there. Yeah. Be um, just reminding them again where you'll be this weekend. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we have about 30 seconds, so let's go. Let's go. Are y'all able to post like my website and your? <coughs> and yeah, like we'll be able to, to add everything, which oh, I think we've been doing it now for Instagram. all time. I thought you were only on Facebook, so that's good to know. Well, well yeah, that's that. why I thought that was important. <clears throat> if you see something missing on all of our posts, we'll post on Scooby Van and the radio show. Just text me and say, yeah. can you add this? Because I mean, there's so many people to tag. Or you could always go. Well, you're going to be busy. We'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. she's busy. She she has a deadline. Like we don't catch it. She catches it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, girl, get ready, get ready, here we go. All right, go ahead, girl. 
All right, welcome back to the San Antonio Life Stuff Show on Gen X 99.1. We're Brenda and Linda. I'm Linda. Hey, everybody. She's I'm Linda. Brenda. Okay, and we're bringing you Life Stuff from San Antonio and the people who are making a positive difference in our city, like our guest today, Alda Dobbs, author of Barefoot Dreams of Petra Luna. So, Alda, thank you. Thank you for being, being here. Thank we're super so excited much. about that. So, before we wrap up the show, is there anything else that you'd like to share with your viewers? Remind them of where they can find you. Yes, it's on my website, uh, Alda. It's going to be aldapdobbs.com. Okay. Okay. And there I, I have sources, uh, resources for the, uh, the book. If you're a librarian or educator or just want to learn more about the Mexican Revolution, I have information there as well as how to write if you want to be a writer. I also have tips there and I offer a newsletter where it gives you insights too. And there's also a playlist there that has all the music the mariachi will be playing. Oh probably my God, that day. that's so, wonderful. Yeah, so that's some kinds that. of fun. So you could get into that, that mood before you read the book. And this is actually... <laughs> Music from that time. Yes, it's, it's all, and it's some of it is mentioned in the book as well. Wow! So it's oh, music I grew up with that I didn't realize <laughs> that was popular then. So it, it it always inspired me when I was writing the book. Cool. And so of course, if they go to all the P Dobbs right now and order the book, and then go to the Twig for our San Antonio listeners, go to the Twig. They get the book and they get the free journal. Yes, uh -huh. and I'll be there to, if you want me to sign it or you want to take a picture. Girl, or we're the first ones in line. <laughs> 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 as soon as she leaves, we need to go order. We need to order ours. And we're going to have food. We're going to have tamales. Uh, really? Ranchetos. We should have started yeah. off with that. <laughs> free food, free food. Free food, free food. Wow, yeah, okay, so. and the Scooby Man will be there as well. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. We're collecting books, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah excited and about for that. the kids, I'm showing the uh, yeah, behind the scenes. So There's a picture of the book cover. Yeah, right? so if you can draw Petra Luna, bring in your art, you'll get a free gift, and you'll be entered to a chance to win one of the three prizes. I love that. But, but congratulations again, because you said your book launching starts today. Today. Yes. So, today. oh my goodness. So, so that is wonderful. <laughs> and then to go see her live, you said um, they would go to the Texas Standard. Is that what that was? Uh, Texas Standard, if you, uh, it should be, the link should be there tonight. I, I wonder, I don't know if they'll oh, put it today for NPR, Texas Standard, and it's a, the uh, station is for Austin, the KTU, mm -hmm. Austin. Oh, so, uh, yeah, sh they, they'll probably be putting a link here soon. And then again, how can they find you? I know that uh, you were stating, and we were excited about you are on Instagram. So, go ahead and state that again. Yes. It's Instagram, it's Facebook, but it's under what name? Instagram, it's going to be at... All the P Dobbs, uh -huh. and for uh, in Facebook, you could also find me under All the P Dobbs as well. Thank there, you, thank and you. Um, yeah, and you'll see all the information there about the book as well. And, and like I said, Mexican Revolution stuff. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Wow. I can't wait. I'm just super excited. Like, I don't have the book, I just want her to put her like signature right here for me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll still frame it like this. <laughs> and I know the book is for 12. Not, uh, nine to twelve year olds. Nine to twelve. But I think you know the stuff you're yeah. posting on Facebook about the history. You know you're putting these little snippets of information. It's very informative. I'm gonna buy it. Yeah. I'm gonna read it or wait for the audio book. We can do that too yeah. and listen to it. But the idea oh, there the is audio book. That's gonna be wealth amazing. Wealth of knowledge about that yes. time period. So and that's exciting for me. One more thing is that I'm doing uh, the translation into Spanish. Oh, good for you. Really? January. So January I'm gonna start it. And oh, it I bet there's a lot of people by. just super excited about that. In your free time. In your free time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Alda, so just real quick, what's coming up? Just a quick review of Alda. So Alda is, for the Scooby Band of San Antonio, she is our author advocate. We had the book fair yes, last year. I love that. <clears throat> she had reached out to us, and so she's the author advocate. Because when you're doing a book fair, we get all caught up into it. And so she's like, okay, remember this, remember that. Yeah. So she brings that perspective, which is fantastic. So for the Scooby Band coming up here, before we close out the show, this Saturday, again, from 12 to 2, we'll be at the Rolling Oaks Mall. We'll be collecting children's books. Mm -hmm. And, We've been doing really good, though. And we'll remember to give the donors Scooby Snacks this time. <laughs> and then, that's true. We will be giving away two free Pogo Passes, which I'll tell you about here in a minute when we talk about our wonderful sponsors. And so far, we've collected close to 13,000 books, and we've given away close to 7,000 books. Wow, so that's amazing. we're excited about that. The goal is to make sure every kid in San Antonio owns a book. And uh, the, the mission is to bring the community together to make that happen. Right. Because well, there's only one happening. of me and there's only one Scooby Van. I can only do so much. Right. So that's Saturday from 12 to 2. And then we're going to hightail it over to Retro City from 3 to 5. We're going to be at Retro City on wow. where's the address. It's somewhere. 15033 Nacogdoches Road. Wow. And Joel is the owner of that. He's going to have the turtle van there, the Back to the Future car. Oh, my car. goodness. What fun. And Retro City is where you go to get your 80s, 90s horrors. I don't Star think I've Trek, been there. I don't think it's I've a been real there. fun place. It's a small place, but it's really fun. He's got an arcade uh, room that you can go in and play all the games. Uh-huh. 
you know, wow, Pac-Man and Space Invaders all that, the old that So people will be fantastic. there from 3 to 5, and then we're going to hightail it over to the Twig at the Historic Pearl. Hopefully get there in time to get a good parking spot. Oh, Scooby Van's got a good parking spot. I was going to say, what are you talking <laughs> about? Right. You're up front, <laughs> We're baby. not inside. We're not in front of the store, but we're right next to the store. So we'll be there, again, collecting books. And the San Antonio Art Museum is going to be there as well. And there's going to be mariachis and free food, obviously, all the Oh, my God. That books, sounds like books. so much fun. Yeah, so we're excited about that. So that's what's well, going on in our world. Yes, that, that is wonderful. All right, guys, so I'm going to be alongside with Linda on Saturday. Well, I'm not missing. She said to Molly's. Oh, wait, she's important. Uh, you're going to be there, so I'm there for you. But, <laughs> and the tamales. But the tamales sounds like re really, really good. Homemade, too, yeah. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, my mom. <laughs> Dang, wow. While they last. I was going to say. Homemade tamales by Alda's mom while they last. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, again, I'll be with Linda also at the Rolling Oaks Mall. And that is always so much fun. When we get there, we just have so much fun. Oh, my God. But you know what? To me, too, it just, um, you know, there's just so many children coming. They're they they uh, they're excited about, like, hey, I went to my library, and this is, you know, what I am able right now to let go of. Like, I'll see you again <laughs> in the future. But they love, like, coming and, and knowing that these books are going into, um, you know, another household that is going to more than enjoy their books. But um, they also get to go into our drawing of the Pogo Pass. So definitely we want to, you know, talk to them about that, where we are giving away $2,000 worth of Pogo Passes, which is two passes. But again, every pass is worth that $1,000. Tell them about that. So the Pogo Pass is, if you buy it at pogopass.com and you use the code SCOOBYBAN, all one word, right. you get 20% off, it's $39.98, so $40. And so for that $40, you get into about, I don't know how many venues, 27 venues Yeah, maybe? it's about 27 <laughs> venues between, what is it, San Antonio, San Antonio Austin, and Waco. Waco. Now, we say venues, we'll say like UTSA. We're calling that one venue, but you actually get into... Oh, my God, you're right. Let's let's put that lots out Lots of games. We're going to start putting that out there for everybody. So Brownie, you go to UTSA. How many games is that? <laughs> home, women, volleyball game, baseball, men's, women's basketball, not just for UTSA, but UT and Austin. So right. if you're a sports fan and you live in Austin and you're listening in, you might want to get that Pogo Pass from us. It helps the Scooby Van. Um, <clears throat> and then you can True. get into all those home games. Plus, you know, we've got the Whitty Museum, we've got the zoo, we've got the aquarium. So it's, it's well worth it. We're just trying to help people save money. The brand fits with the Scooby Van. We're all about helping helping the families, so it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity. And you get to support the Scooby Van. That's too. right. So that's and great. this is why we are also giving out this $2,000 worth of Pogo Passes every single weekend until the end of December. So that's giving $8,000 out to our community to those lucky winners. Right, and so, so. If, you did, if you did enter the contest, Check your spam because I'm not getting answers back. So I think there's Scooby mail. I was like, what, what spam? happened? Because yeah. nobody's getting back to me. So you get back to me so you can get your yeah, free Yeah, we've already pass. given away about $6,000 worth of yes. Poco Passes. So definitely you want to check your email. Also, you know, bring your kids, like like we said, because we have multiple games that are going on, um, you know, at our table just for family fun, absolutely yes. free, where everyone is a winner. And that's what, and, and this is why, you know, I definitely hooked up with Linda because we just fun together, right? We just fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun. And I'm, I'm I'm easy too. If they pick something, I'm like, you don't have to take that. You can take whatever you want. So yeah, they can pick whatever they want. It's all good. But it's all kinds okay. of fun at our table. So, so I love it. So before we forget, next week on our show, we are going to have Angel Contero. Angel, what's Ooh, up? We're super digital, excited to have you. She is a digital. I can't wait to meet her. I know all about her. I feel like I know her. But uh, <laughs> she's a digital journalist for La Prensa, Texas. Nice, nice. And she is also an artist, and she has a, a, a business, I guess, called yeah. Que Bonita Crafts. Yes, exactly. So she's got a lot to tell us. She's yes, busy, she does. She's a busy girl. So we're going to hear from her next week so we're excited about that so you want to tune in again next week 12 to 1 central time that's right that's right all right girl is, is that everything and get the gen x app for the go so if you go to itunes for the iphone and the ipad sorry for the other phone users uh there is a gen x app go look on our website uh, you can see it's, it's kind of a purple and green app that you get and then we want to thank our sponsors first of all gen x 99.1 thank you thank you gen x. for hosting 
and right center of advanced of wellness center guys so again center of advanced wellness they come in in a really big way, way to help support uh linda and our cause and our cause is to go out there helping our community just with wonderful people like alda that you know comes in that just has a lot to offer oh my god but some, uh, here at center of advanced wellness guys um you can come in for all your health and beauty needs again all you need to do is go to center of advanced wellness.com and uh, just go check out all that they have to offer so for a single person, you pay $30. If you don't have insurance, pay attention, $30 for that monthly membership. And then when you come in, it's $10 a visit, which is a great deal. So we're talking all kinds of uh, allergy testing, wound care, pregnancy testing, COVID testing, that type of stuff. And we have, we have a doctor here on staff. And I say here because the radio station is actually located in the Center of Advanced Wellness, which is 8723 Bots Lane. And it's at 410 and Broadway behind the airport. So it's easy to find. And we also want to thank my Travel Vibes Apparel for the Rudy, merch. thank you, thank you, yeah. Ooh, we don't have our merch on today, but you're amazing yeah, for a, just everything you give us. I had a wardrobe malfunction. I Did you? I could find my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then Pogo Pass, which we told you about, but we're going to tell you about it again. Pay one price for one pass. It's good all year to get into all of the venues, and I love it because we're, we're doing school fundraisers now. So oh, the schools that's right. don't have to have hundreds of candy bars. Oh, they hear this, girl. Hear this. Everybody's touching, and you're losing money, and you're losing the merchandise. We love this school fundraiser, or for groups, any group that needs to raise funds. Pay attention. <laughs> right now, before <laughs> now, and the end of September, if you sign up for a Pogo Pass fundraiser with us, we get you a big, giant banner that's $250. It's, it tells the community, sign up, and here's our code. You get your own code. And then the Scooby Van's going to be on that banner. And then you get five dollars for every pogo pass you sell this is huge because how many kids are in your school it could be anywhere from two thousand to five thousand so this isn't anything to play mm -hmm. with this is definitely thousands upon thousands of dollars for this one fundraiser though this is a type of fundraiser that it's going to be all year long yes. so your school is, is getting that residual income every single month first of the month that's right. You got a bank account, there'll be money in the bank. So it's just That's a right. matter of, and we'll, we'll work with you. Hey, it's, you know, October, so we need to do this. Here's some stuff. And we'll, we'll touch base with you every month and help you to get the word out there. Um, so that's something, if you want to uh, find out about that, just reach out to the social media, Scooby Van SA, and just send us a message. We'll and uh, yeah, we hook you up that day. Like we're not playing. Yes. This is definitely something <laughs> that every school should have, mm -hmm. especially, you know, with COVID, um, the schools were out, you know, uh, the, the teaching was in the, the homes. Right. So then there wasn't much uh, fundraising going on the last what year and a half. So I know that schools are out there saying, oh my God, we've come back. We want to do all these things for the kids and we got zero money. So definitely this is where Pogo Pass can come in in a really big way to make you, you know, all kinds of money really fast. So right. Definitely you think about anything. that. They Principals, see, teachers. Yeah. They just see the website. They see the code. They go on. They sign up under your school's that code easy. or your group's code. Nobody touches anything. They pay for it. They've got Pogo Pass. And then you get your $5 a pass in the bank. So that's, that's right. That's wonderful, right. Wonderful, wonderful. So we love it. And you save tons of money. And people may say, well, i got a family of four. i got to buy four passes. That gets pricey. A family this weekend said they bought a pogo pass to a place I shall not mention and they spent not a pogo pass I'm sorry they bought season passes to a place that's not on the pogo pass and they said they spent nine hundred dollars for right. family passes I was right like, ouch that so, was insane and you're... they only get to go to the one place and that's it right <laughs> and so if you're like my family we go once okay that was good enough now let's yeah. go to the zoo we go once that's good enough you know and me and the pat I love the zoo and I get a family membership because I want to support the zoo but then we end up going once and then we go to the witty and we go once and I right. get a membership there. Right. <laughs> Getting so memberships everywhere. People like, if you're like me, this allows you to get that under control and you get to have all that fun. Right, at right. The same time. Alrighty, girl. Well, show our show is here almost over here in about one minute. We just want to thank Alda again. Oh, thank oh, you. My goodness. It was such a pleasure to be here, girl. But you know, we're just super excited too about your success. Oh, you no. have so much San going Antonio on, girl. No, Southside baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of people. It's amazing when you see a book on the shelf. Yeah. How many people behind that book? You know. Oh, so I'm that's so true. thankful for the publisher and everyone in that team. It's amazing all the the work they put into it. And so obviously now we have to have you back when your second book launches. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Make a little time for us little people, okay? Oh, <laughs>
All right, guys. So right, Brenda, wonderful. yes, Brenda and Linda here at 99.1. Guys, we will see you next week. Any last minute words, Linda? What do we no, want to say, girl? See you, hopefully see you Saturday. you got three opportunities to bump into us between the mall and Retro City and Twig. So hopefully we'll see you. Yay. All right, guys. See you next week again. Thank you. Thank you, Alda. Thanks, Linda. All Bye, right. everybody. Thank you, everybody. Oh, this is a good song. <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for being um, a part of our live again. Do us a favor. Share, share, share. I'll just say your goodbyes. Linda, say your goodbyes. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. See you next week.